hello everyone and welcome back to the channel my name is sim and today we're going to be looking at a cool program called sdr angel now with this software you can do a bunch of stuff that's sdr related like tracking planes getting imagery from the iss like scroll scan tv and a bunch of other things and i've seen online a bunch of people ask me how to get this running on the u console slash raspberry pi and i noticed that if you go to the GitHub for SDR Angel, there aren't really any builds for ARM. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how to compile your own to work on the U console or any other Raspberry Pi you have. Let's get into it. So first things first, this tutorial is gonna assume that you already set up a clean install of Raspbian. You ran sudo update and upgrade, and you are able to connect to your Pi remotely via Raspbian's own connectivity or via uh, VLC or anything like that. Okay, so let's get to the computer and let's get started. Okay, before we begin, I want to stress that you have to use Raspbian 64 bit. This will not work on 32 bit Raspbian because there are de there are dependencies that will not download or just don't exist, and you're going to have a ton of errors. So yes, 64 bit Raspbian. Okay, cool. Okay, so once you've remotely connected to your Pi, you've updated everything and you're ready to go. Let's get a terminal window open. I'm gonna zoom in for you guys. Make that huge. All right. Now, first things first, once you open your link to the SDR Angel GitHub, it's gonna have a tutorial here for you. It's a bunch of copying and pasting, so bear with me. This is gonna take a while. First, Let's create some directories. This is where all your all the stuff you download is gonna go and everything will be installed too. So let's paste this in. Now that that's done, these are prerequisites. This is what you need to get started with building all the software. But before we get to this, I will say you should install two things. First, let's do a sudo apt install uh, RTL SDR. The reason why I'm saying to install this now is because there are some dependencies that you need to install for SDR Angel that require this. If, if you're already using SDR stuff like SDR plus plus or anything like that on a Pi, you probably don't need to do this, but this is a clean install. So I just thought I should install it. The next one we're going to install is sudo apt install cmake this is what we use when we are compiling the software that's going to be used for str angel if you don't have this installed you can't compile stuff all right once you have those two installed now we can continue with the tutorial so now let's grab those dependencies right here we're going to paste that in and we're gonna let it rip. Once these are installed, we can start on the non-hardware dependencies. Basically, these are for the plugins that SDR Angel uses. Uh, we're gonna have to do these one at a time, so we're gonna start with APT. Paste it. All right, and now that that's done, we're gonna go to CM265CC. Copy, paste. All right, the next one is libdab. All right, next one is serial db. All right, let's go and grab dsdcc. And then codec2 freedb. Next one is SGP4. Now we're going to get a lib sig mf. Last one is going to be GG Morse. Let's grab that. Paste. Okay, so the next part of this tutorial is hardware dependencies. Basically, that means you're going to choose or you can do all of them depending on what you need. So if you have a RTL SDR 
dongle, you just use this one. If you have a SDR play or if you have an air spy, if you have a hack RF, lime SDR, so on and so forth, you will choose dependent on what you have. For this tutorial, we're just using a RTL SDR. So that's what I'm going to choose right now. All right, so let's grab that one. Let's paste it. All right, now that that's done, we can scroll past these. We're not using these. USRP, it's going to be pretty heavy, nor do I think it works on a Raspberry Pi. XTRX does not work on a Raspberry Pi. We can skip all this stuff. Soapy SDR is if you want to use SDR Angel in your browser, like from another computer or remotely. In this video, we're not going to be covering this, so I'm just going to skip over it. We're not using that. Pretty much everything in this section we don't need. Now we just have to build it. We compile SDR Angel. We're going to copy this. This is all we need. If I can just click on that. All right. This is going to take a while. I highly suggest you go take a break. Go get some coffee or tea and just relax. It might take up to two hours, depending on what Raspberry Pi you're using. Uh, just a fair warning. Now, let's get started and let's build this thing. Once all that's done, we're going to go ahead and skip build for Qt6. We don't need this. We don't need any of this. Developer docs, if you want to play around and mess around, you can use these commands. But what we're looking for right now is just to run SDR Angel. So that's going to be down here. We're going to copy that and we're going to paste it in. And you should see a SDR Angel logo pop up. This is going to take maybe five to 10 minutes. So just be patient. Eventually it'll open up and I will skip to when it opens. All right. So when SDR Angel opens, you're going to see the configurations page. This is basically all the plugins you have installed and what you can do as of now. I'm pretty sure you can install more if you want, but for right now, for this example, we're just going to be launching ADSB under the RTL SDR category. So we're going to click that. You're going to notice this is open. Uh, I don't like the UI like this because it's hard when it's in tabs to see everything. So you can click this button here and it should clear everything up. And obviously I don't live wherever this is saying I live here because my home base is set incorrectly. So in order to fix that, we're going to go to my position and you're going to fill out here your launch and lad. So you can get that from Google Maps if you don't know. Or if you have a GPS dongle that works on a Raspberry Pi, you can just click this little satellite here and you'll be all right. I'm not going to set it because for this example, I don't need it. I can just find where I live on the map. Uh, let's go across the ocean. All right. And we're in Nevada. So just to make sure our device is correct, we're going to go to preferences, devices, user arguments, and we're going to look for our RTL SDR. Now I can see it's here and I see a serial number of one. I haven't changed the serial number on my RTL SDR. Yours might be different. Uh, I'm going to click on this. I'm going to press OK. If you don't see it there, you can also add it in uh, RX devices and then from the select sampling device you should be able to see it here I already have mine detected so it's thinking that I'm trying to open another one which I'm not so if you don't see this little box here you're gonna want to do this and then look for your device here so mine's is already open so we can click start and we should start seeing data coming in we have planes already uh, let's zoom in give you more information. All right. So there you have it. SDR Angel compiled from scratch on a Raspberry Pi and running with an RTL SDR. If you guys have any ideas or any other software you want me to take a look at, or if you, you have some plugins you want me to take a look at for SDR Angel, please let me know in the comments below and I will get to that. Uh, thank you so much for staying this long. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next one.